The following guide contains information covered in previous videos. If this is your first time watching one of these, I highly suggest you watch one, two, or all of the videos listed on your screen. Enjoy! Hey guys, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for you another video and welcome to another Mario Kart 7 track in-depth guide and analysis. Today, Coconut Mall. Making its debut on Mario Kart Wii for the Nintendo Wii, Coconut Mall is the third track of the Banana Cup. This is personally one of my favorite tracks not only in this game, but in the original version as well. The concept of racing inside a shopping mall is pretty fun, and this is one of the places where you can see some of your 3DS friends cheering for you as you race throughout the track. So let's learn how to impress them with your skills. Now we will be taking a look at the fastest base route and the fastest way to earn 10 coins. I say base because we need to learn what the fastest way is to complete a lap without having a card to sign for a specific track. When racing against a computer or real players, you will not be able to switch your card combination before knowing what track you are going to dominate. For this and all of the fastest base route examples, I will be using the default card build. Standard frame, standard wheels, and the super glider. We will also focus on the drifts that are going to help you get a much better time. Alright, on with the footage. Let's start with our initial boost. Heading for the side of the track that has the blue arrows on the ramp. Pressing R at the end of the stairs and the ramp itself for more speed. Head to the right, grab two coins and then press R again on top of the small ramp as well as the edge of the fountain once you land. Positioning yourself like this to grab one more coin and land at the foot of the ramp with a blue arrow. Press R at the end of it and drift to your right grabbing three more coins and one more right as you press R on top of the base of this tree. Do the same with this other fountain and drift to your left as soon as you land, grabbing your final three coins. Take the boost pad that can be seen and head for the left path while drifting once again and get ready for a glider pad, but spike down as fast as you can. Finally, drift to your right and avoid the moving cars, but make sure to go through the boost pad for more speed. Finally, another drift to your right should do the trick. The arrows on the ramps alternate for each lap, so always go for the ones going up. Alright, that was one of the longer tracks in this game, but not a problem whatsoever. Just remember these following tips to do even better as you race. Number 1. Item Boxes This is not as crucial to know, but it is really important to know their location if you are out of lines of defense. The item boxes in Coconut Mall are located here. Number 2. Speed Bumps These are irregularities on the ground that will allow you to gain a speed boost if you press R while on top of them. Other than the ramps you will find, the things that can be used as speed bumps that are not so obvious are the things surrounding the trees and the fountains inside of the mall. We have already covered these as well as the stairs and the moving ramps, so just remember them at all times. Number 3. Shrooms and Shortcuts There is only one effective mushroom spot on this track which can be found right here. If you do not have a lot of speed, this can slow you down a whole lot, so use a mushroom here for a nice shortcut. You can also go for these alternate routes if you feel the need to, but I don't recommend them at all. Number 4. Hazards First of all, you should remember not to go for the ramps with the red arrows on them since this will slow you down a little bit, but you will still be able to pass. Also, make sure to avoid the cars before the finish line. The pattern is not difficult to remember, so stay out of their way when going for the boost pad. So with all of these tips, we are done with this analysis and we can go shopping once we have obtained first place. If you enjoyed this video and was useful in any way, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your Mario Kart loving friends, and add it to your list of favorites if you would like to watch it again. The song in the background belongs to Approaching Nirvana. If you liked it, make sure to check out the description below so you can find it. So with that, you guys have a great day, take care of yourselves, and if you decide to watch any other Mario Kart 7 video, I will see you then.